Hello everyone. Uh, we are going to describe the functionality of UniConnect, the flagship product of Percipient. As you can see, the UniConnect allows disparate data sources to be connected seamlessly. As you can see, the white section on the top are the existing data sources and the green ones are the new data sources. Earlier, you were having your data warehouse, which is flowing to the data marts and from there to the reporting platform. But with UniConnect, you will now have the additional data sources coming to that middle tier. And from there, using a simple SQL access, you will be able to flow the data into the corresponding existing applications and platforms. So quickly, what I'm going to show you is a structured database. So I'm taking the example of MySQL and the example that we are describing here can be applied to Teradata or Oracle or SQL servers of the world. So we have the MySQL server currently running. And uh, what I'm going to do is I just want to look at an existing table by executing a SQL query, uh, select count star from uh, the movies database contains a table called tags. And as you can see, there are half million rows, uh, about half million rows in the SQL database, right? And if you're looking at the, the structure of the table, by a describe command, as you can see on the screen. Uh, you will see that it contains uh, just three columns. Uh, we are not bothered about the number of columns here. Instead, we are looking at the volume of the data. And this is running on my Windows system, as you can see. Right, now let's go to another operating system, Macintosh OS X. And I have got a file inside this folder and uh, the name of the file is ratings.csv it is a comma separated value file and it is a huge file and as you can see the file contains about 20 million rows and that is just a simple csv file this rating file might be the data generated by the organization through different means either through an online application where the users are supposed to give the ratings of the products or it can come from an online application and then it can be stored into a particular uh, database or a structure so ratings.csv is just a simple file which contains large amount of data and if I am doing a count star on a big data platform you can see that currently there are no data at all in my big data so what I'm going to show you step by step is how we are going to insert this ratings.csv file into the big data platform and this big data platform is not related with UniConnect at all but UniConnect has got the capability to connect to the big data platform and that's what we are explaining here so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the ratings.csv file which you have just seen 20 million rows into Hadoop file system, the file system which is holding all the data in our big data platform. So issuing a Hadoop FS command will put the data into the big data platform and you can just query by Hadoop FS minus LS just to get the list of all these files and make sure that the data is existing. So as you can see that it is retrieving the data, which indicates that the data has been loaded into the Hadoop file system. The next important step would be 
to load this data from the Hadoop file system into the data warehouse component of big data. Basically, it's called as Hive. So what we are going to do is we are using a load command and then loading that data ratings.csv from the Hadoop file system into the big data data warehouse called Hive and I'm using a table called ratings for holding this particular data. It is very quick and now you can see that if I run a query to select the number of rows from this particular table, it should give me all the 20 million rows and let's see. The query invokes a MapReduce job. So in Hive, whenever you are executing a SQL query, unless otherwise you are using some fast processing tools like Impala or TESS, you are going to get a MapReduce program invoked in the background and then you are going to get the data what you are asking for. So as you can see here, it is printing back all the 20 million rows in the Hive data warehouse, which means that our ratings file has been loaded into big data. Next, we are starting the UniConnect server, the platform which we would like to demonstrate. So as you can see, I am starting the server by running the launcher run command and Within a few seconds, you will see that UniConnect server started message, which shows that the server has been started. The next important step would be to start the client, which will be connecting to this UniConnect server. It is this client that the data analysts and data scientists of your organization, they are going to use this to query the data through UniConnect server. So as you can see here, when I run a query to get the data from Hive, immediately it is showing you the database table structure. And now I am just putting select user ID, comma movie ID, the two fields from the Hive table that we just created called ratings. And surprisingly, without creating any MapReduce job, it is giving you the complete data of that particular table. In this way, the UniConnect client can be used to query big data very fast. And next is a very complex demonstration of an inner join between the MySQL table that I have shown you first and the Hive table. And when I execute it, as you can see, it is immediately giving you the result with the complex join condition performed. What you need to note here is a great differentiator compared to the industry tools which are similar of what I have shown. Those tools will copy the data from one database to the other database. Basically, they do a copy of smaller data into the bigger database and then queries it on the disk. And in such platforms, the disk input and output takes a lot of time, which we have avoided through in-memory processing. Finally, I just want to show you that a data scientist can use R and then execute the query against UniConnect with the complex join that we have just seen now so that R can be used to connect to any kind of disparate data sources. R works by downloading the packages and that's what you are seeing in the screen that the packages that are needed for connecting R to UniConnect are getting downloaded and once the complete packages are downloaded, the R environment is being set and this is just a one-time activity and this demonstration is with R but you can use the same technology to connect ClickView, Tableau, Cognos, or any kind of tools to UniConnect and then get complex joins from multiple disparate data sources. 
So here you can see that R is still downloading some of the important packages and then it executes what we have queried upon. And if you look at the query, you will see that I am querying the same join that we have just seen in the unique client client. And when you look at the output, you will see that the R tool connects through UniConnect and brings the complete data from the MySQL database and the Hive database together. In this way, UniConnect can be used to seamlessly access multiple data sources. Thank you very much. Any details, please contact www.percipientcx.com.